We were previously in Mexico and now we're staying local. We're going camping. My family loves traveling on a budget, but what is more budget friendly than camping? So this is, we're going to uh, review two products. This is the first. This is a Marmot Limestone Six Person. Um, we got it on um, a deal. We love a good deal. This is what it looks like without the fly cover. Um, it is very roomy. My husband is 6'5", and he can stand up at the tent and change his clothes no problem. We have unpacked and packed it several times, and um, the case is a little thin, but otherwise I believe it's going to hold up really well. Uh, this is a picture of us after it's set up. I set it up by myself, um, and it uh, could be slightly, it could be faster with two people, but it worked um, very well just setting it up myself. So the one thing I love is it has these alcoves on both sides, and so you can completely cover it, but you have this extra little border. We actually did buy um, yoga mats to slide in there because the footprint of the thing um, does not um, cover those, and so we wanted kind of extra space to be able to put our um, shoes and that sort of thing on the outside to give extra space. So it has these little flaps for air vents that helps with the circulation. And I'm showing you the alcove on the other side. Again, it's a lot of room. And when you don't have it open, it's really nice um, because it's still block shade, but it gives a lot of air flow through. So I'm going to continue to walk around. There is, um, it's when you don't have the fly cover on, it is completely open. Um, and so when you do, you can either roll up these sides and just have two sides and it's almost like a nice sunshade, um, or without the fly cover, uh, it's just a really nice, like a bug netting. Um, but you can see on both sides, there's these huge, uh, windows and then the rest is also mesh covering. This would easily sleep four people. Um, we're going to probably sleep, uh, two to three people and a dog in it. The zippers are very smooth. They do not snag. We've been in it several times now. And it opens completely. So it, um, it doesn't have like two separate doors. The whole thing opens. So you can use it as a sunshade if you want to leave both of these completely open. And then they also have a really nice tuck. So you can tuck all of this you'll see me struggle with it in a second because i'm doing it one-handed um but you can tuck all of it into this little pouch so it's out of the way and you're not tripping on it you're not snagging it and um again where you see the amazon box that where that is where we bought uh foldable um very thin yoga mats that we're going to have to have for our shoe rack so here you can see how massive it is. We have some of our kids' toys. Um, there's the other very large window. There's pockets in the corners. There's pockets at the top. If there's any door that opens, it has places to uh, secure it so that it's not just flapping. You can hang a light from the center. It's very well made. It was very wet um, when we went camping and it was super dewy on the outside, but it was perfectly dry on the inside. Um, for storing, we did open it up again when we got home just to dry everything out and it dried very, very quickly. Um, and then we repackaged it, which was another opportunity to open and close it. But it, um, it kept out moisture really well. We did buy the manufactured footprint. So this is the other thing I want to review. This is a Sea to Summit sleeping pad. It has this foam core on the inside that inflates, so it is slightly thicker. Um, but uh, my husband, who's uh, over 200 pounds, a little over 200 pounds, slept on it for three nights, and it did not deflate at all. He did not have to inflate it. So here is me for the very first time trying to put it away um i did like one loose um roll i tried to get it in there on the second and i needed to do a third but i think if i did it again i would be able to get it on a second because you really really need to get the air out um, because it has that foam core so it did not take me long it has extra um 
uh, squint, um, bungees that you can tighten it even more and it actually packs up to be really tight. It is not the absolute thinnest, but the absolute sl thinnest sleeping pad that you are sleeping on will be sleeping on the ground. It is, they are not comfortable. So we have been searching for a very long time to find a pad that is workable and this is definitely it. Um, I would love to purchase, you know, an X pad, but they are so big. We do not have space in our car. So this is a really good compromise if you cannot buy an X pad, but you want a um, pad that you will not hurt your hips on. We're getting older, our hips hurt, um, and uh, does not take up too much space. So I hope these help. I hope seeing you out there camping and I'll continue to review some more products. I just got another one that I'm very excited about.